Spring is officially here and you know what that means. It's time to make a strawberry rhubarb pie. Let's do it. First things first, grab an obscene amount of strawberries and some rhubarb. Now you know those berries are dirty, so go ahead and fill up your sink with some cold water and baking soda and let them soak for about five minutes. And this is totally unrelated, but I found a perfect pineapple today, so I want you all to admire it with me. And now we're back to Berryland, ladies, gents, and everyone else. Just go ahead and give those a slice until you have about two cups worth. For the rhubarb, same verse, except you're going to want three cups worth. Then into the bowl goes three quarters of a cup of sugar, the zest of a whole orange, and very important here, four tablespoons of cornstarch or you are going to have a very soggy pie on your hands. And once you realize that your bowl is way too small and you need a bigger one and you transfer everything in, go ahead and mix it all together. Now whether you have homemade or store-bought, it's time to fill up your pie crust. And now you get to tuck everybody in. Just make sure that you put a few holes in the top just so that the steam can come out. And before she goes in the oven, just give her a brush with some egg whites. Now depending on your oven, you're going to want to start high and then go lower. So for the first 20 minutes, you'll use the higher amount and then the last 40 at the lower. For my oven, that's 375 and 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Once a couple of hours have passed and you've resisted the temptation to cut into a bubbling hot pie, it's time for your moment of truth. Da, 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 da. Bum, 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 bum. I really need a timpani. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this pie.